Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Delicious. We're in Houston, Texas. We ourselves have always been dog lovers for many years. Texans are dog lovers. You know, they're our fur babies. We want to bring them with us as much as possible. We wanted to create a place in the community where uh, you could come and enjoy amazing food and have your pet join you. If uh, you bring your pet, we're definitely going to serve them water. We also sell our food here, our fresh dog food, and it comes in frozen packets, and that's really for to go. It's very important for me to find pet friendly places and this is certainly at the top of the list. I describe our food very similarly to how I describe our family. Modern American with international influences. It just pops out at you. The presentation is 10. I, uh, the flavor is great. I destroyed my plate. I cleaned it fully. I'm uh, from uh, Iran but the food actually is uh, from Middle East. Mom is definitely the driver of the menu. American mother. I make my food here with love. That's what America is about right now. People from different cultures, with the Mediterranean fusion, with Middle East uh, twist into it. Dogs uh, and cats, uh, they don't get the attention of a family. They just get fed just the regular food with a lot of uh, preservatives and things that's not good for them. My mom has been making dog food since uh, since as long as I can remember. Uh, we uh, actually lived in another country for a few years of my life when I was very young and uh, where we lived there was no commercially available dog food. When I started making the dog food is when I had Lola, my German Shepherd mix. She was a puppy, but she had some issues with her hip and the food that she, we were giving her, even though it was top kibble, it wasn't very good for her. And then I started doing some research and talk to different nutritionists that find out that uh, you can actually prolong the problem uh, with their joints and with their hip. Uh, by giving them a good food. At that time, she started coming up with different uh, fresh food recipes for our dogs. And a uh, flash forward many years later, she just continued that habit of creating fresh food for the whole family, not just the humans, but the furry ones too. A few years ago, uh, our veterinarian was like, what are you guys feeding your two dogs, Lola and Baxter? They're so healthy. And when we told them we have a fresh dog food, or my mom makes this fresh dog food, uh, our vet was like, you should consider selling this. Pets are part of a family also, and they need to get fed well. Ember and Green started July of 2019. And we come from a long lineage of really amazing food, being Persian, having Middle Eastern, Mediterranean fusion food is big in our lives. And she wanted to create her own menu. She wanted to bring her food to the community that we've been in for so long. We have food for everybody. We have uh, vegetarians, uh, plant-based, uh, people for all kinds of different eating habits. Our top selling items, we call them Momonshuku Samosas. Momonshuku is my mother's uh, mother, and that dish is just a crowd pleaser. Uh, my grandmother would make this dish for all of our friends and family for so many years, and no matter the age, the background, the ethnicity, the anything you name it, people just love this dish. So when we started the restaurant, we knew that that was going to be one of our main staples and as it turns out, it's been one of our highest selling items. People love our blackened salmon as well. We also have these amazing cauliflower bites. People really love our appetizers, our shareables. You can honestly order all of them and sit down and just enjoy them with friends and family. It's, uh, it's really wonderful. We have this wonderful coal-fired oven in our restaurant and we cook our samosas in there. We roast a lot of our veggies in there. Many of our favorite dishes come out of that oven. So the ember comes from the coal-fired oven that we have and the greens really represents the fresh foods that we love to use and the scratch-made kitchen and the focus on a healthier and lighter fare. I don't know any restaurateur or any business, obviously, that went through the pandemic with, without too much interference. Um, the restaurant, we were 
brand new six months into us being open and the pandemic had started. Our dog food company, Lola and Baxter, actually during that time was one of those businesses that was not that highly affected. And had it not been for that company, uh, we probably would have had to shut down the restaurant. Our dog food kind of kept us afloat that we were able to uh, have additional revenue streams. For me, it's very important to have to be passionate of what you're doing. It's not just a job, it's just uh, making sure, you know, there is enough love and enough care into that for both humans and animals.